Hi. Now, if you've been watching my earlier videos in this series, we were looking at solving a second order linear differential equation, something like this, but it equals zero. And a second order linear differential equation was where these values here, a, b, and c, were constants. Now, in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to equations like this, where they equal not zero, but some function of x. And it can be shown that the general solution of these types of equations essentially are made up of what we call a complementary function plus a particular integral. So what do we mean by a complementary function? Well, a complementary function, or CF for short, is a solution to this particular type of second order linear differential equation you can see it equals zero. And we handled these, as I say, in earlier tutorials. If you're not sure how to handle these, just click on this link here and it will take you back to that series. So we need to work out the solution to this type of equation. That will be our complementary function. And to this, we have to add what we call a particular integral. So what do we mean by a particular integral? Well, the particular integral, or pi for short, is a solution to this particular equation. A value that works, okay? Now, the best way I can demonstrate this is through an example. And it's going to be a fairly straightforward example, first of all, just to get you into the swing of this. And we'll tackle harder examples later on. So, the example I'm going to look at, then, is this one where we've got to solve d squared y by dx squared plus 2dy by dx minus 3y equals 4. And we can see that it's got this particular format. Our function of x, though, is a constant. So first of all, what we've got to work out is the complementary function. The complementary function, or CF for short, we'll just put this down here, CF. Let's just highlight that, okay? The complementary function then is where we solve the equation equaling zero. So we take the left hand side of this, and so we've got d2y by dx squared plus 2dy by dx, okay, minus 3y equals zero. Now, when we solved these earlier, we had to work out what the auxiliary equation was. Okay, so we'll just put that down here, the auxiliary equation. And that auxiliary equation would be 1m squared, or just m squared, plus 2m minus 3 equals zero. So we've got m squared, plus 2m minus 3 equals 0. And we would solve this quadratic equation. And in this instance, this one factorizes. It factorizes to m plus 3 multiplied by m minus 1. And it equals 0, leading to two roots, two real and different roots. m equals minus 3 and m equals 1. And I showed you in the video for solving these that if we had real and different roots, the general solution for that was something of the form y equals a constant, let's call it a, e to the minus 3x plus, and then another constant, b, say, e to the power 1x, or just simply e to the power x. OK, so this would be our complementary function. Let's just tidy that x up there, OK? Let's just move on. What we've got to do now is calculate the particular integral. The pi, we'll call it, OK, in for short. So for the particular integral, this is the bit that will change when you're doing these kind of questions. And we'll go into more depth on this in later tutorials. But for now, what we do is we take 
a trial value. A trial value for why? And it's going to vary depending on the question. Now when you're handling a constant like this, we just say let y equal some value. Let's say lambda. Lambda being a constant. And what we do is we now find out what dy dx would be. Well, dy by dx would equal 0 for this value if we differentiated the constant with respect to x. And if we differentiated again d2y by dx squared, well, that too is going to be 0. So if we substitute these values, these three values, into this equation here, let's call it 1 and say sub into 1, OK? Let's see what we get. So d2y by dx squared is equal to 0, so we just put that down here, 0. Then we've got plus 2 times dy by dx, so that's 2 times 0 again. I know it's 0, but I'm just purposely putting that in there just so that you can refer back to what I've been doing. And then minus 3 times y, 3 times y, y was lambda. And we're told it equals 4. So that means that minus 3 lambda equals 4, so therefore lambda must equal minus 4 thirds. So what that means is that therefore our solution, our general solution to our equation here is the complementary function plus the particular integral. So what we've got then is therefore y equals the complementary function a e to the power minus 3x plus b e to the power x and then plus our particular integral so we're adding minus 4 thirds so it's just simply minus 4 thirds. So there you go fairly straightforward I hope but the difficulty if anything is going to come about when we look at this particular integral. Because as I said earlier, it's going to vary depending on what function of x you've got here. We're going to look at linear functions. We're going to look at exponential functions and trig functions in this series. So you can see links to these particular videos if you're on my website, examsolutions.net. So I hope anyway that uh, gives you a start anyway to working with this type of differential equation.